All right, we're talking fashion now and in tonight's edition of Sex and mm -hmm. in the City, Natalie joins us to break down the top fall That's makeup right. trends. So what That's are some right. of the hottest looks? Well, you, you know, we see all these great looks on the runway and yes. it's about being able to bring these runway looks to reality. So there's some really fun trends happening in makeup this fall and okay. I've picked my top three favorites. All right. Um, so I think we're going to actually start off with dark lips, which is a really fun kind of vampy, a new take on the red lips that we saw. Um, last season. So so this is actually a really easy look to pull off. You want to keep the rest of your makeup soft, sheer, and simple. Um, I, I always say use a, li a lip liner and probably something waterproof, especially when you're going to go for something as rich as this. If you're a little nervous about going, you know, so dark and dramatic, um, try a gloss, like a deep berry gloss, maybe something that's a little bit more sheer. Maybe for work, you'll go a little softer, and then for the weekends, try this dramatic look out. And a little touch of bronzer, because a dark color like this can also wash you out a little bit. It's a little, little tip there. Okay. And then next, we're moving on to green eye makeup. So this is a really fun, fun look, and it's, it's a little bit different than what we saw in the spring and summer, where we were seeing sort of those pops of green, the really bright greens, and now we're seeing the, these beautiful hunter greens and emeralds and mossy greens for work. You probably want to go for a more matte formula. And then again, for evenings or weekends, you can go a little shimmery, a little more fun. If you're, again, if you don't want to go all out with the shadow, you can try like a hunter green eyeliner. Something in a waterproof formula goes on really well. Okay, and okay. our third look? My third look is, um, this is my favorite, and this is the, the flushed, she flushed cheeks look. So mm -hmm. this is a, a tongue twister. Um, this is a great look. It's sort of that look like you just came in from the cold. Um, you can go for peachy or pink formulas. Uh, a cream bl blush is nice if you're a little bit um, nervous about going sort of too bright. Um, if you like that a little more pop of color like I do, use a, a powder formula with a brush. Okay, and so yes. I understand that you are now going to show us how to do these makeup trends. I am, you were I am. in the makeup room earlier. I was. Getting yourself all dolled up. That's right, all yes. Right, so let's let's show that yeah. video and you can tell with us how to actually do this. Okay, great. And I used a couple of these looks that I that we already showed. So we're starting off with a green eyeshadow. So this is a really pretty kind of shimmery, mossy green. And you want to take your flat shadow brush, pat it into the product, and then pat it onto your eyelids from right from the, the lash line up into the crease. And that will give you a little bit more of an intense color. If you want it to be a little bit more sheer, just sweep it on with sort of a fatter brush. And this you just want to work in until you achieve the, the um, intensity that you're looking for. And the green color is different than you were saying than what we were using in the summer because I don't have these dark greens that's yet. That's right. These are sort of along the lines of what we're seeing in clothing as well, right? These forest rich greens and they're really beautiful. You can go as soft as sort of a mossy green and then go as deep as that that hunter green that we're seeing. And then what I've done here is a, with a, a hunter green eyeliner and this you would probably maybe do more for evening so now we're kind of getting a smoky green look and I'm just applying that right into the bottom lash line and this kind of gives you this really pretty fun evening look and the great thing with green is that it works for every eye color and every skin tone um, and, and really for any age I absolutely love it it's my my favorite color for fall and then I'm just finishing this look off with two coats of, of lengthening mascara so you want to start at the root and give it a little wiggle two coats for the top and then just one coat for the bottoms to avoid getting that kind of cakey look okay. and you can go for a black brown or or a black uh, mascara which is what I'm using here and, and again, this is a great look for work for the weekends, pump it up by adding that eyeliner on the bottom. And I mean, you're sitting right here and I can see your makeup and it doesn't look too overdone. That's, That's right. the best part about That's it, That's right, I think. definitely. And then again, with this, you know, the beautiful kind of flush cheeks, I, I finished that off with, I used two different colors. Mm -hmm. um, and you wanna just pat your brush um, into both, give it a little swirl in there and then tap your brush to remove any excess product. And then you're gonna smile. And those are the apples of your cheeks that you want to work that color into and work it right up to the temples. Yes, okay, yes. I know that always when you were doing our makeup years yes. ago, you'd say, okay, no, smile. Smile, I'd exactly. Say, I don't feel like smiling yes, right now. Yes, <laughs> but you have to. Exactly. Yes, you do, to make sure you get it looking right. That's right. So next week, what are we working on? Uh, well, because it's starting to get cooler, not today, but it will, mm -hmm. yeah. um, we're looking at winter coats. So I'm going to be talking about the latest trends in winter coats for the guys and the girls okay. and how to choose your the coat that will work for you, for your body type, your lifestyle and kind of what to look for when you're choosing one for fabrics. Best bang for your buck. Okay, sounds yes. good. Thanks you, Natalie. Thanks, and of course, Thank you can you. check out her website, sextoninthecity.ca right. for yes. all the extra details. That's if you right, kind of uh, all the, for a list of all the products that I used today okay. as well. All yes. right, sounds Thanks, good. Thanks, Kate. Thank you. Thank you, Natalie. We'll take a short break. There's still more to come right after this. I'm Eric Gage. Coming up in sports, a key game this afternoon in Toronto as the Alouettes were at the Rogers Centre in a big East Division matchup against the Boatmen. Highlights next.